students, I have some terrible news that I need to tell you right away. It cannot wait another single second. Wait, is this recording? Hello? Am I muted? No. No. Okay. Am I talking loud enough? Maybe if I get closer. There. That's better. As I was saying, I have some truly devastating information. Our musical has been canceled. You have all worked so hard, and I was looking forward to our dress rehearsal tonight. But now, I'm sorry to report that our production of Brushes with Greatness, the dental hygiene musical, will never see the light of the day. The world will never witness your interpretation of this great American classic. I know they always say the show must go on, but in this case, it can't. Oh, that's... I should go. How do I hang this thing up? Okay, Siri, end video. Hello? Oh, hi, Principal Geyer. Yes, and our show has been canceled. What? No! The drama program can't be shut down permanently! Yes, yes, I know the musical is supposed to raise money for next year, but... No, don't go! You can't shut down the entire drama program! <sighs> Goodbye! <sighs> oh, the video never sent yet. Well, maybe if I click the button here that says send, it will send. Calling all cast and crew. Did you see that video? Wow. I don't know how to use technology. But more importantly, we can't lose the drama department. We have to do something, no matter what obstacles we face. Life mirrors art. And this is just like our musical. Like Bob Flossie says at the start of Brushes with Greatness, We don't give up, we don't give in, we journey on, we rise again, although we face our greatest foe, we don't give up, yes this I know, we'll tell the black and change fighters to just stay away, we'll brush and floss together, we can keep up. Well, maybe not like that last part, but you know what I mean. Let me know what you think. Hello, fellow Vespians. I'm speaking to you all from inside my closet, where I retreated as soon as I heard the terrible news. I've decided to move in here and hide away from the world. After all, if there is no musical theater, what is the point of going outside? I will live out the rest of my days nestled amongst my old costumes, my tap shoes, and my signed poster from last year's production of Susical the Musical. I was a great year of a turtle, wasn't I? Don't cry for me, former castmates. I'll be fine. I'll be here. Tweeting at Lin Manuel Miranda and quietly humming the score to Pippin for the rest of eternity. Good luck with the rest of your lives. So long, farewell, a beater saying goodbye. End scene. Look, we can't just crawl into our closets. We have to bring brushes with greatness to life and save the drama program. But how? Hmm. Hey, I know. You know how we're all sending videos to each other right now? What if we did the show online, just like this? I mean, if you can order Ben Platt's used tissue on the internet, you could totally do a show on 
Um, not that anyone would buy a used tissue on the internet. I mean, what kind of person would spend 40 bucks on something like that? Uh, that's disgusting. Nobody would. I know I wouldn't. Oh, look. All I'm saying is that you could do a lot online. We could film ourselves and then piece the scenes together. Like a real musical. We could... We could... We could... Achoo! Yes, that is a genius idea. Not the $40 tissue. That's ridiculous. But a virtual musical is a great idea. We'll perform Brushes with Greatness, the dental hygiene musical, at home and stream it online. Check it out. I can do the opening number for my living room. Ever since the map appeared that had some tea. There's been a silent battle just beneath And who fights that battle? We've known them since you Our heroes Bob, Flossie, and Tommy too Come listen to their brush, 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 brush With greatness, a musical inside your jaw Brush, 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 brush With greatness, just sit back and say ah Mrs. Danley, I don't think she's going to like this idea very much. She is pretty scared of technology. How do we get her to agree? Um, I may have an idea for how we could get Mrs. Danley to agree. I wrote a little something. I'm not sure if it's any good, but maybe it could help. I don't usually perform my pieces, but we have to save the drama club. So, here goes nothing. I must say I am moved, deeply moved. I'll admit, at first I was hesitant, but after hearing that song, I say we go for it. The show must go online. Please reach out to me if you have any questions about your performances or about the technology. I have a Hotmail account and an ALL account. I am very connected. You have all inspired me and given me hope. Now, let the dress rehearsals begin. Okay, Siri, end video. Wait. I mean, Siri, send. There. I should do it. I wonder how they found out the drama department was in danger. Mrs. Nika? Do you know? Me neither. Do you know I once performed in Cats once? I was tremendous.
sneaker. I got this. Okay, so, so Miss Dana Lee thinks to dogs. Good to know. Anyway, dress rehearsal. I was thinking since we're at home, we could get creative. Like we could be in an actual bathroom using an actual toothbrush and toothpaste. Check it out. This will be great for the big plaque battle at the end of the show when plaques all like. This mouth is my domain now. I don't want you around. I'm sick of dealing with your flossing, brushing sound. And then our heroes come in to save the daylight. Now this will die flying cowardies. Kiss black go by flying cowardies. The tooth can't be pulled out. Good, right? Wow, that was some great toothbrushing. Amazing form. Though, I guess it was kind of hard to hear the lyrics. Well, we'll work on that later. Anyways, I've been working on Plaque's song in the Great Gum Canyon all day, and I think I figured out the perfect way to perform it at home. I had some interruptions before, but we're all good now. This is scene three, take six. I like it, Q U I E T. Yes, quiet is the best for me. How I like the lovely hush away from the buzzing brush. Oh, fa la tra la. Should we do it? Costumes designer here. Now remember, even though our costumes are at the school, we can still get creative at home. After all, this is our dress rehearsal. As we discussed last week, our base costumes will be all black. No logos, no designs. And yes, not include your Olaf t-shirt, Toby. Let it go. Now I have suggestions for everyone. Listen up. For Tommy Tooth and my other toothbrushes, I want you all to take some hair brushes and take them to your hands, like this. See, it's easy. And now the other hand. But once you have one brush on there, it does make it a little hard to do the second brush. Why don't you just hold them? Hold the brushes in your hands like so, like your toothbrush with bristles. Then you can sing and dance easily. But supposedly you have to pick something up. Never mind. 
my life. Skit creative people, don't let me down. Hey, thanks for the costume tips. This next scene is the emotional center of the entire story. <laughs> that high-wrenching moment when Tommy tooth apologizes. I've been working on my expressions in the mirror all day, and I think I might have achieved an Audra McDonald-level performance. Now that now, all that's left is to capture it on film. That's easy enough. Well, here I go. <clears throat> when you look at my face. You can clearly see I need you When you look at my heart You can understand I care When you take a deep look into my eyes You'll see a soul that never lies My face, my heart, my smile, my teeth, my eyes Wow, that was, um, well voice sounded great, but the camera was a bit off. I may have an idea that can make things easier. What if Tommy the toothbrush was played by an actual toothbrush? That way, you can really see their full bodies while they're singing. Brilliant, right? When you look at my face, you can clearly see I need you. Amazing, right? When you look at my heart, you will understand I care. If you take a deep breath into my eye oh. Bad toothbrush uh, My face, my heart, my smile, my teeth, my eyes Okay, so maybe it's not the best idea Hello, from your lighting designer I thought I'd demonstrate some ways you could do lighting designs at home For instance, you could turn the lights on or you can turn them off. Blackout. If you have a dimmer, can you dimmer them? And, hmm. Well, what else? I guess you could turn some on and some off. And that's about it. Good luck, I guess. Lights up, spotlight on me. As y'all know, this next song contains the most important information in the entire musical, which is why I am demonstrating for you. It's the big reveal, and the stakes are are extremely high. If the audience misses this, the whole show will fall apart. We must not let that happen. So we need to be extremely clear. Like so. As we ready for this battle, our biggest battle yet, I'm reminded of a hero who I never could forget. The one who makes the evil force wins. And his name is Line. What's the line? All right. Okay, sorry. I got it out. Going on. He's caring. He's daring. He's everybody's friend. And his name will live forever. I'll remember it to the end. I met a man I've liked him ever since. And his name is... Ah, what was it again? Well, I guess we'll never know his name, will we? <laughs> this is your stage manager here. We are moments away from showtime. Now I want everyone to stay calm, okay? We are going to be fine. Fine. I'm fine. Are you fine? I'm sure you are, because calm is contagious, and I'm totally calm. You're all doing great. Really good stuff. But I do have a few tiny little tips before we go live, okay? Okay. One, find a quiet spot to record. Two, remember your lines, especially the important ones. Three, 
Don't sing with a toothbrush in your mouth. I'm begging you. Four, make sure the camera's pointing at your face when singing about your face. And five, for goodness sakes, don't buy a $40 used tissue online. That's not about the show, but just don't do it, okay? Okay, we're about to go live. Remember, this is just for family and friends, so there's no pressure. Just have fun and... Oh no, how is this possible? Is this real? Oh, this is real. Okay, okay. Um, some news. It looks like Kristen Bell heard about a show somehow. And she tweeted the link out to her live performance. And she's hosting a virtual viewing party. And over 50,000 people have RSVP'd? But that's like totally fine, right? Right, okay, places, it's showtime. Ah! Hello to all our viewers and welcome to our virtual theater. My students are telling me this is being broadcast live over the interwebs. I want to thank you all for joining us. As always, I want to remind you to unwrap your candies and turn off your devices now. Oh, a message. <laughs> message manager is telling me that you're actually watching this on your devices right now, so leave them on, I guess. That's neat. Anywho, some of you have been with us since the very beginning, since our first production of In the Tights, a Shakespearean hip-hop opera. And some of you are experiencing our drama club for the very first time. We want to thank you all for your support. This program means so much to us and we would hate the thought of losing it. Forever. Never mind all that. Without further ado, I give you Brushes with Greatness, the Dental Hygiene Musical. Curtain up. Ever since the mouth appeared that had some teeth, there's been a silent battle just beneath. And who fights that battle? We know them sets you. Our heroes, Bob Flossie. And Tommy too. Uh oh, here comes the plaque. I'm enamored with the enamel and the gum. Ginger Batters is my very best of chums. And between the two of us, we will attack. The black and dental hygiene, watch your back. Come listen to the brush, brush, brush. A musical inside your jaw. Wisdom teeth and hormones in the cast. Woo! Brace yourself, retain it, time and hold it fast. Yeah! Welcome to our show, Brushes with Greatness. Tommy Tooth Legendary Toothbrush, is that you? Who's asking? It's me, Bob Flossie, your old Flossin pal. I haven't seen you since the deep cleaning of 90 when you banished halitosis. She was awful. You were legendary. That was a long time ago, kid. I don't clean the mouths anymore. I'm retired. But we got ourselves a plaque situation and nobody cleans like you. Plaque's too big for me now, kid. There's no hope. I give up. No, I refuse to accept that. We don't give up, we don't give in, we journey on, we rise again. Although we face our greatest fall, we don't give up, yes this I know. We'll tell that black and ginger virus to just stay away. We'll brush and floss together, we can keep back to the so what do you say? All right, Flossie, I'm in. Hey, it's Neat Plaque, and I think I found the perfect place to live. Look at all this tartar and build up in this glorious gum canyon. Shh, do you hear that? No. That's right, because that's the perfect sound of silence and serenity. Now, toothbrush of floss in sight, and I sure hope they aren't nearby eavesdropping. Amazing. I 
I like it. Q U I E T. Yes, quiet is the best for me. How I like the lovely hush. Away from the buzzing brush. Oh, fa la la, tra la la, shoo ba dee dee Quiet time for me. I'm the best. I'm so glad I banished Tommy Tooth, Fa Flossie, and the most terrible mouth cleaner of all, he who must not be named. Uh, I like my food quite sugary, cause candy fills my heart with glee. Nothing like a sweet old snack, to give a boost a good old plaque. That's me, forget the floss, I'm the boss, thank you for setting me free. Quiet time for me. My name is P-L-A-Q-E, I mean U-E. I'm working on a cavity. My favorite word of all is neglect. I strike when you least expect. Say yay to K every day. Cavity, cavity, witch. Quiet time for sh. Quiet time for sh. Quiet time for me. Cannot deny it. I love it so quiet. The silence, what do I enjoy? Hey, Tommy Tooth, did you hear what Plaque just said as we were totally eavesdropping? Sure did, kid. Who is he who must not be named? It sounds like he's our only hope at defeating Plaque. Do you know him? Do I? As we ready for this battle, our biggest battle yet, I'm reminded of a hero who I never could forget, the one who makes the evil forces win. And his name is Harold Rince. Harold Rince? He is Karen, he is daring, he is everybody's friend. His name will live forever, I'll remember until the end. I met him and I've liked him ever since. And his name is Harold Rince, a way bacteria, that's what he does best. the great peanut butter and groove incident of 87. I know I blamed you. But really, Harold, I was the one to blame. But, buddy, we have a serious plaque problem and I need your help. Please, partner, I'm begging of you. Harold, you know, we've been down this road before, and you said you'd never work with me again. Yes, I know I've made mistakes. It's a truth that caused some aches. But Harold, no, you'll always be my when you look at my face, you can clearly see I need you. When you look at my heart, you will understand I care. Harold, I do care. If you take a deep look into my eyes, you'll see a soul that never lies. My face, my heart, my smile, my teeth, my eyes. Oh, Harold, I love you too. Now let's go pull dry some black. Plack, why can't you have stayed away for just once? Harold Rince, Tommy Toothbug, Flossie, the dental trifecta? You betcha, and we want you out of this mouth. Forget it, this is my turf now. And I think this tooth is ready for extraction, don't you? No, not the molar! This mouth is my domain now. I don't want you 
I'm sick of dealing with your flossing, brushing sound. Leave that tooth alone. Never. Then it's time for battle. Come on, team. No roots will die, defying cavities. Kiss plaque goodbye, defying cavities. This tooth can't be pulled out. I'm not going easily, and neither is my friend, Gingivitis. Oh no, there's two of them. That's right, and we're gonna wreck this tooth. Wait, please, you have to see reason. Beautiful, this mouth be so beautiful. We know every molar and incisor could be clean. Boom, attack, get him. We're fighting back, defying cavities. So take that plaque, defying cavities. This tooth can't be pulled out. No, we did it! Yeah, rinse and spit, pull out the gauze. There's greatness found between the jaws. Together we have saved this mouth. Truly remarkable. That was the greatest of fine cavities I've seen since Adele Disney made her off, off, off Broadway debut. I want to thank you all for tuning in. This means the world to us and that's, I should go. Thank you. Thank you all. Hello? Oh, hi, Principal Guy. Oh, you watched? They did? They do? That's wonderful news. Thank you. Thank you for saving the drama club. Yes. Yes. We will be back next year with Gracie, the car mechanic musical. All right. Thanks again. Talk to you later. Oh. It's still recording. What is up with this technology? It's almost as if I left it on on purpose. Well, since I have you here, Ms. Geyer would like a moment of your time. Hi there, my name is Marcia Geyer and I am the drama teacher at Mason Middle School in Arroyo Grande, California. I feel very privileged and honored to be in this position this year and to have been able to work on a project of this type with such amazing and committed students. A project of this type is a first for all of us. So it was a very growing and learning experience, but more importantly, it was an opportunity for us to connect through a very difficult time in our world right now. And it was great to be able to find joy through creativity together. So thanks so much for being a part of this experience with us. And you never know, you may see us again soon online. So this closed the theater too.